mula pa Jaqueros, did you know that if you have this and your smartphone, you can use it to monitor the engine performance of your car. This is called an ELM327 OBD2 Tongo together and paired with the Torque Pro app. This is a very powerful tool that you can use for engine performance monitoring. You can uh, access the real-time sensors that the, um, that the computer in your car uh, pulls and then you can get the data and actually record it to your torque app. How do you connect your ELM327 USB dongle to your car? Uh, this particular model is the 2017 Kia Forte. All you need to do is locate okay, the fuse box. And there you go, there's the uh, OBD2 connector. And you can use it to plug in your dongle like this. Okay. We have connected our OBD2 dongle here. And now we are going to connect the Torque Pro and make it connect with our OBD2 dongle. The first thing you gotta do is to pair your OBD2 by going to Bluetooth and then clicking in OBD and type in 1, 2, 3, 4 as the pin. It's either 1, 2, 3, 4 or 0, 0, 0. And then you're paired. And you can check if Torque Pro is now logging data. Okay. It's connecting. Checking photo. And you're good. Okay, so now it's recording data. We will download the Advanced EX Kia plug-in for our torque pro I will open the file and then install it app installed and let's go to our torque pro okay and plug-in settings car model okay we're going to add the Kia, Fort the Kia Forte okay let's create a new profile uh, this is a sedan displacement is 2.0 and this is a Kia Forte 2017 okay uh, okay I don't know this but probably it's around 1500 Fuel capacity is around 12.9. Maximum dial RPM is 8,000. Okay. Uh huh. 71,593. Okay. And save. model this is a new engine 2.0 there you go and let's see uh -huh. let's select the year 40 okay
add predefined set Kia Forte there you go there you go okay so uh, let's put in there we're gonna add some data uh, for us to record during our um, at, during the time that the torque is running so what you gotta do is go to settings and then data logging and upload uh, scroll from the menu select what to log and then press the menu button and select what to log now the green you, you can add some things like um, acceleration sensors and now in this case we gotta uh, do need to measure the speed and the rpm so let's okay so engine coolant temperature we want to add that engine rpm that's the basic we gotta do um, uh, let's say uh, what else Let's uh, okay. Let's check the uh, speed. We gotta do the speed OBD. And uh, what else? Trip distance. Uh, trip time. Oh no, trip trip distance. Okay, so there we go. Voltage. Uh, yeah, I think um, I think this 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 needs to be. Okay, so those are the things that we need to monitor in our car. So let's click on OK. And there you go. That's the list of the uh, things that your OBD2 will be logging. Okay, so yan, yan lang for today. And I will teach you how to, um, how to uh, configure it in a later video. So that's it for today. Thank you.